Um, it's a really good value to have uh, Bruce introduce you. That only cost me 20 bucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, uh, I, this is going to be an unusual uh, speech for me because I have no projector, no laptop. I'm not going to show anything, you know, fancy because uh, because I think that that will underscore my message um, about uh, the, the way technology is going, and um, uh, in in regards to websites and search engine optimization, uh, the point is that uh, people get caught up in, you know, um, number of visits and, and you know, uh, ranking and, um, you know, online marketing and, and, and all of the uh, specifics, uh, social media and, and how all these things play in together. And it's really, um, it's really missing the point because <laughs> what, what that is all about is in connecting people and driving new business. And in, in that regard, uh, the more technical aspects of search engine optimization, you know, while important to learn and um, uh, uh, should not be discounted in terms of their value to your business, it's becoming a game uh, or more of a game where messaging, branding, and uh, connection between people and institutions is um, growing in importance. And so, you know, those are very nebulous terms. And I, I don't want to, like, leave you with that as a, you know, like, okay, what do I do? You know, how do I brand myself? You know, it's a, it's a huge, huge question. Um, and, and there's a lot of, you know, room for interpretation out there. So I wanted to give you guys some, some really practical methods that you could apply to your own businesses and use in not just the web, but in uh, collateral, mat collateral material, print material, and also in um, how you uh, approach business uh, as individuals going forward. And uh, <clears throat> it comes down to um, uh, a few uh, staple ideas that will, um, will allow you to, uh, to move forward uh, in, a, in a healthy way. The, the first thing um, when I first ran across mission statements, I thought they were were baloney. I thought they were, you know, bull crap. You know, like 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 uh, mission statements. Like our mission is to make a lot of money. You know, that's, like, that's, what, that's, what, that's what we're here for, right? You know, it's like. But but um, I I was I was um, you know I was raised by an entrepreneur, and he has slowly. Uh, made some inroads in me, I'm a slow learner, um, uh, with, with a concept called ethical persuasion. And this was, this was the mechanism that allowed him as a business person to, uh, to you know, pursue sales uh, in, in the real world uh, and, and do it with uh, you know, uh, honor and uh, integrity and dignity. And the idea of um, mission statements and ethical persuasion uh, fit uh, hand in glove, and um, this is this is a statement of you know how you intend to do business, and what your goals are as a business, and um, and what you really want people to uh, be able to take away from having an encounter with you as a business person, and and actually the exercise of putting this in writing and putting it on your website is uh, a, a very healthy thing. It forces you to sit down and think about, you know, what does my business mean to me? And what do I want my business to mean to other people? And this is uh, one of the, the great opportunities to you for you to find out what it is you really believe in and how you need to communicate that, because that's a value proposition. And a value proposition, every, every company has their own unique value proposition. It's the thing that differentiates them in the marketplace. You know, there's there's more than one auto shop out there, but you know, Mike's Mike's Auto has succeeded in defining themselves in a way that that brings in a certain clientele. They've they've uh, been able to do it for years, and uh, you know, it really it it comes from everything they do. Um, every one of our businesses has um, 
has this to offer. It's, it's what differentiates us from the huge corporations. Well, let me tell you, the huge corporations, they have mission statements. They are, you know, they're following a path uh, that, is, that is clearly defined and, uh, you know, that they have, have made great efforts to, um, to elucidate. So another, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is personas. These are the classes of people that um, could be your potential customers, and this also includes um, uh, people that can be referral sources as opposed to direct customers. It's important to sit down and think about, you know, these are the kinds of clientele that I want to go for. You write like what's essentially a biography of who this person is, what their values are, and how the message that you need in order to connect to them. It's like, you know, I'm looking for, you know, um, uh, homeowners of a specific, uh, you know, uh, price range of, of home, and you know, you can then determine geographically where those people are, and you can craft a message that that uh, you know speaks to them, and start using that in all of your advertisement, in all of your online presence, and um, in you know your efforts to market even in a networking group. Um, the next point is that uh, uh, it, search engine algorithm, algorithms are getting so sophisticated that they can um, detect synonyms uh, for words and, um, and so uh, the use of or forcing the use of keywords into um, into your website copy is uh, not no longer necessary. There, there, or it can even, you know, theoretically in the long term uh, harm you. You should write in naturalistic language. You should write for human beings and people, not for search engines. You should write in a way that um, uh, is, you know, emotional, evocative, and uh, that that you know, really follows your mission statement and addresses the personas that you have identified as value, valuable to your business. Then um, my next point is uh, don't be afraid to ask for testimonials. You know, uh, it's still about people and human beings. People need to feel that if they're doing business uh, with your business, that they are part of a larger community in which they can see uh, you know, people like themselves, or maybe at an even higher station, have made the, the, the decision to uh, interact with your company and have been willing to talk about it. Um, uh, Mike's Auto is a, another good example of this. Um, um, we, we work with them on a monthly basis, is why I, I can, you know, use them as an example. I'm very familiar with, with what they do. Um, uh, they uh, essentially do an outtake interview with their clients when they're when they're done with the work, and they, they you know ask them if this was a, a positive experience, and uh, if if the people agree to it, they take their picture and they they take a quotation from uh, each client as they finish, and work that integrate that into their website, in a in a search engine optimized sort of way as we've trained them to do, and it's led to great success for them. And for their most valuable keywords, they they have been locked in you know uh, one or two ranking uh, position um, uh, for quite a while now, and I think it's been um, beneficial for them. Um, another thing is that uh, among the technological tools, there are some uh, very interesting and worthwhile things to look at, like call tracking. This is where um, uh, the person is is. Uh, who comes to your site, whether they come through a, a, a print advertisement, a um, search engine uh, result, or a uh, pay-per-click ad. Call tracking um, gives them an individualized number that they then call in on. The call is recorded so that you can, um, so that you can go back and listen to your sales process. You can listen to your front desk. You can listen to your your salespeople. Um, we had a we have a big client in uh, Beverly Hills who um, does uh, does uh, drug treatment, drug and alcohol treatment center, 
and they, they changed their whole phone queue based on what they started hearing on the recorded calls. They realized that it was too many layers between human beings connecting to human beings, and so they, they essentially chopped down their, their phone tree to make it a much more direct and easy process for human beings to connect with human beings. Okay, then the last point is that uh, everyone should look at their website as their own personal television station. The web is going incredibly uh, video oriented. People are sitting in like the DMV killing time. They're not reading you know, stuff on a small device, but they are watching videos on small devices. It's becoming more video centric um, as, as time goes on and it's affordable now to, to do video more than it ever has been. Um, and those are the points that I wanted to make today. Of course, you know, we can help you with all of those things. The website is really a great central uh, gathering point for all of these uh, technologies and um, ideas. And uh, we would love to help your business um, thrive in the coming year. Um, are there questions? Oh, okay. There's no time for questions. <laughs> Mark. Uh, just a shout out, I guess, uh, um, if you have trouble coming up with content, uh, he's got a team that will help you build your content, and it's worked pretty well for me. I, I find myself uh, lacking for words sometimes. Uh, that may seem amazing, but uh, <laughs> it's definitely worthwhile to kind of contract that part of thing out and like, you can update stuff. I'm not as, I'm not as good as uh, Thomas over there. He's come up with some great ideas. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. I